Base, The Final Frontier, by William Margolin, spoken by William Margolin. Now, let's start from the beginning. Suddenly, there was a bang. A bang. But not just any bang. The big bang. The bang that started it all. All of a sudden, bang, tiny atoms were shot out out of nowhere. Nowhere, man. These weren't just atoms, they were protons. Along with these protons came neutrons and electrons. Gradually, as these protons shot out, some began to go together. And, once these two protons were together, an electron came. And an electron started to orbit around the proton's mass, since it was so much bigger than the electrons. Soon, enough of these protons shot out that they started to create gases. Helium, hydrogen, the building blocks of life. These gases it would clump together, more protons fusing together. Eventually, these protons created a substance called carbon, the basis for all life. Now this carbon slowly metastasized to a rock. rock you ever seen before. This rock wasn't just any rock. No, it it was the first rock ever created. Now we don't know what really started this Big Bang, but we know the aftermath of it. That's us. Now, there are still theories on the universe, still today. One theory is called the blanket theory. Well, blanket theory. The dropped. blanket theory says that the universe started as a folded up blanket and is constantly unfolding for us. The evidence for that are the corners of the blanket. Tell me about the corners. Once you reach a corner of a blanket, you can't unfold it anymore. And now that our universe is stagnant, we believe that it's a corner of the universal blanket. Another theory is the bubblegum theory. The bubblegum theory states that the universe is just a big bubble being blown by the Big Bang. Additionally, this theory states that eventually the bubble will become too big and will start from scratch all over again. So, let's fast forward a couple billion years. Here we are, in the Milky Way galaxy. The place we call home. Now, all the Milky Way is, 
is a couple of carbon rocks that form together with littler carbon rocks orbiting around them, which are orbiting around a bigger carbon rock. That's all it is. Now let's zoom in. Earth. In addition to all the carbon molecules that turned into the Earth, there are other carbon molecules that have turned into different substances, such as water, oxygen, plants, all things that sustain us humans on Earth. Now, you're probably thinking, what are the odds? That's a great question. Thank you. Now, we can't really tell the odds because we don't know how many factors play in. But you can believe they're one in the billion trillion gajillions. Yeah. You probably didn't think that was a number. Pharaoh, are you shivering? Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Ron. <laughs> Sorry. But you get the idea. Chapter 1 complete. Chapter 2. We made it to chapter 2. The magic behind humans. Now, we didn't just start as humans. What we started was, was even better. Now, we started off as unicellular organisms on the bottom of the ocean floor. Now, when we were just organisms, we weren't looking for food. We didn't need food. <laughs> we made our own energy. And eventually, we turned into two cellular organisms. And then three. But this just didn't happen overnight. This happened over the course of millions of years. That's about your lifetime times a million. <laughs> 